it's Reagan and today I'm here to do my January favorites now for the month of January I feel like this is a true like winter favorites video I actually haven't bought anything new in the month of January no shop January is something I partaked in I'm really gonna be focusing and highlighting on basically all of my favorite things that I have been loving throughout the season of winter. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually a brand highlight. Um, starting in about the fall, uh, late October, November, I bought my first thing off of a store called Cezanne, which is a French clothing store that I have been pretty much in love with for years. I've always followed them on Instagram, but I just never bit the bullet of buying anything. But I finally did this winter, and I have three things that I've picked up from them over the course of like three months. So the first thing is actually something I'm already wearing. It is this beautiful sweater that can actually be worn in three different ways. So it's a cardigan. There's buttons down the front so you can be worn as a cardigan. It's reversible as well. So I'm wearing it with the v-neck in the front with the buttons, but you can also wear it with the v-neck in the back with the buttons down the back, which it's just, it just makes it one of the most versatile classic sweaters I honestly own. It's really lightweight, so it's great for transitional weather as well. The thing I also love about Cezanne is, is that they bring back style season after season. So they update it maybe with a color or a pattern, but for the most part, like, their store is just like classic pieces that just are really feminine and beautiful. So I've just been really loving them and like picking up a few pieces here and there. The next thing I got was this wool sweater that has this really beautiful color palette. I really love the cool tones, the pink and the blues. It's another kind of more light, lighter knit uh, wool sweater. So it's still very warm. I do have to wear like a t-shirt underneath this because it is 100% wool, but I really loved the pattern. And then the last thing I have from Cezanne is this awesome chevron, much thicker knit wool sweater. I love this. I think this is so cool and retro. I love the varsity stripes. The color palette is so me, very, very neutral. And it's just like one of my favorite sweaters ever. Like I feel like a rock star when I wear it. Those are the things I have picked up from Cezanne throughout this winter season. And I'm sure I'll be picking up a few spring things as they've released and they're really beautiful, but it's way too cold to buy anything for spring right now. So I'm holding off. The next few things I'm gonna talk through are accessories. And the first thing is earrings. Ah, I threw one. So I bought a pair of glitter plastic earrings for New Year's um, and I haven't been able to stop wearing them. I think they're so fun. So I have this pair of like glitter star earrings that I got from Madewell for like $10. I don't know, they just like, I stare at them and they make me smile. I just think they're so great. So I've been wearing these nonstop and I also picked up in December these gold glittery ones. And again, they're just so, like they're literally plastic glitter earrings. They look like they're made for children, but I just think they're great. Like I love to wear them with sweaters, with t-shirts. I don't know, they're just hilarious to me. And like every time I stare at them, the glitter makes me smile. So I have been loving plastic glitter earrings a lot over the past month. Next up is a pair of sneakers. I picked these up in November and they are my Veya sneakers that have color blocking and I love these. They're so comfortable. I love that they have like a thicker sole platform. Um, they're just great. and They're really durable because they're all leather so it's very easy to like wash and keep clean. But yeah, I've been loving these shoes so much. They have been a great sneaker. Honestly, they're like my go-to sneaker. Veya, I think, is now my official favorite sneaker maker. Basically, between my two pairs of these shoes, they're the only shoes I wear. And I think in the summertime, I'm gonna pick up their like flat all white to wear with summer dresses because they're just the best. I love them. My favorite shoe company, I have my new solo Chelsea boots, which I got in November as well, I wanna say, around Black Friday, maybe October. This is their new stack heeled Chelsea boot that came out in the fall of last year, and I have been wearing these to death. These are basically like my go-to boot. They're super comfortable, and they have great height, great color, and I don't know, everything about them I love. They have a black pair as well that are weatherproof, so this has like a, a wood stack heel, but they do make boots that have rubber that make them kind of have more traction and also are more waterproof. So for me, someone who lives in a city, that is a really great thing to have and I have been kind of eyeing those maybe for next year. But for now, I have been wearing these shoes so much and they're gonna look great in the spring and summer with dresses. Like, ugh, they're the best shoes, I love them. All right, moving on to my final pieces of clothes I wanna show off. First is a t-shirt that I just think is hilarious and I wear it to like sleep, I wear it out. It's my most versatile shirt 
day or night. But it's this oversized bandeau pocket tee. It's like very classic. Like this shirt with a pair of glitter earrings. No, but it's just like so comfortable. And the reason why I love it so much is on the pocket, it says, ask me about my feelings, which I honestly think is just like so cheeky. I don't know. I just really, really like it. And you know, I like to talk about my feelings and my opinions. So I felt like it was very like a, uh, I felt very personally attached to this t-shirt and again with a pair of glitter earrings. The last bit of clothes I'm going to talk about has been like my love of pastels. Uh, I feel like this winter and specifically in January I have just been loving like a pastel sweater color palette. I think it's because it's just it's cold and it's dreary and I'm kind of dressing for the sunshine and the warmth that I wish I had in my life. So I have just have been loving these pastel sweaters I, ha I picked up over this winter in my wardrobe and they're great and I think they're all on sale now with like a really good deal so I'll have them all linked below. But the first one is this just pink, bubblegum pink turtleneck sweater. It's a great sweater because it's a more of a lighter knit and it's super soft. This is from Madewell but like this will be great for the spring because even if it's like a chilly day, I don't know, the color works for spring and it's just so fun with you know these earrings or just with jeans but you can wear it with a skirt and it just like adds a little bit of sunshine and smile to my face. Moving on to a different pastel tone I have this lilac fringy knit sweater which uh, I think is again on sale on Madewell. This is from Madewell but this is something I got during the holidays. It was a gift and I've just been loving it so much. Again this is just something I've been really loving. Brings a smile to my face. I just love pastels. All of a sudden I'm just ready for Easter Sunday. I don't know but like the Easter bunnies come into town and I have the sweater collection to cover it but yeah I just love it with again light blue denim. It's just been perfect and like these boots, hello. And lastly, probably my most worn pastel sweater is this blue sweater with this kind of knit down the front. Again, I just think this is such a lovely shade. Also because I have blonde hair, I think this blue just looks really nice with my hair. But I have been wearing this non-stop. I honestly like want to wear it every day, but with reading vlogs and everything, I don't want you guys to just think I wear the same sweater. So I always have to be like, nope, don't wear it, you're vlogging, you've already featured it in like two vlogs, but it's just um, an amazing sweater. It also comes in this really great red color, but I picked up the blue. But yeah, it just is just such a fun shade. Like, look at all this pastel, guys. You know, you gotta bring your own sunshine when it's cold AF outside. Alrighty, so those are all of my favorite clothes for the month of January. As I said, I didn't buy anything the month of January, which is great because it really let me just like wear all my favorite things. No need to buy anything when you've already got a wardrobe full of your favorite things. Anyway, let's now move into the music, movies, and TV show portion of this. So starting first with music, I finally have begun to branch out from the 1975 album. No, do not worry, I am still really listening to that album a lot. Uh, I recently also switched over to Spotify from Apple Music. It's a big move for me. It was a big move. Mostly because all of my friends and Clay use Spotify and I wanted to do collaborative playlists with them which has been a real game changer because I, specifically with my best friend, we have very similar tastes in music but we live in different cities so via the collaborative playlist I feel like I found some really great new artists that I've been listening to a lot plus we just have like a great playlist. So aside from the 1975, Maggie Rogers' new album came out this month which has just been incredible. I love it. I jam to it all the time. It is so good. Also via my friend Emily I learned about this new artist called Pale Waves Another great like girl bop album, Seven Rings by Ariana Grande has been great as well and just like a lot of really good playlist moments. Like overall, her playlist is called Remily's Greatest Hits and it's been like my favorite thing of the month so I guess kudos to us. Moving on to TV, Clay and I are now on season 5 of Friends which guys I feel like we are in the best part of it. I have been loving watching Friends. I've said it before, I will continue to say it, but I don't know, I feel like I'm falling more and more in love with like everyone. It's such a funny show. I wasn't actually anticipating thinking it would be as funny as it was. I expected to obviously enjoy it, but it being a sitcom and also in the 90s, I wasn't sure how much of the humor would translate, but it has been a great time. I am just waiting for the Monica Chandler relationship. Like I am so invested in watching that unfurl episode over episode, but I will keep you posted 
on that. Um, Clay and I are also been really watching a lot of Avatar. <laughs> Clay really got into it after the season finale of book one and has actually been requesting to watch. So we are zooming through book two as of now and I really anticipate we will finish it by February, no problem, because we're already like halfway through book two, which I love. But yeah, it's just been so fun to rewatch this series with him and also see him like fall in love with something he didn't think he was really gonna like. Like in his head, he knew he probably would because everyone loves it, but he doesn't really watch a lot of stuff like this. So I feel very, uh, you know, I'm like, told you so. Hopefully I will continue to get him to watch more anime style TV shows. Full Metal Alchemist is next on my list for that. And the last show I'm gonna talk about is The Bachelor. This is my first year ever watching The Bachelor. All of my coworkers watch it, so everyone was always talking about it, so I wanted to fit in, I guess, peer pressure. But I finally have given this show a try, and I have to say, I really like it. I mean, it's absolutely absurd, but this is coming from a person who watches all reality competition shows, so it was kind of surprising that I had never really given The Bachelor a try. It was like my one holdout, but now I'm giving it a try. Now I have no holdout. This season so far is fine. I mean, like, honestly, I don't know how long I'll be interested as like more and more people narrow down. I just can't buy into the actual premise which is finding love but all the drama and the confessionals are absolutely hilarious so I am so far very entertained and definitely tuning in Monday nights, well Tuesday via Hulu, um, and talking with it with all of my coworkers as we kind of recap during, you know, our lunch break. <laughs> Alrighty guys, those are all of my January favorites. Let me know down below some things you've been loving recently as I would love to know, and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye.